What factors determine the quality of a timber stand? Some of the main factors are, you know, site index, which is a relationship of age to height. In other words, the more height you have, uh, the more volume you will have, and that is related to soil type. Soil types are, uh, you know, different, and therefore the quality of the timber that grows in particular soil types uh, vary. Uh, another factor would be how you manage a stand of timber. You must manage it properly or you really won't get the productivity that you uh, would want out of it. You need to thin it. And the normal thinnings usually run at an age of about 17, 18 years old. Then you can possibly do another thinning at uh, 25, 26 years old. And then a final harvest you know, anywhere between uh, 30 and 35 years old. You know, that's the optimum growing cycle for the loblolly pine in our area. Uh, you know, it can grow longer, but also it can be, uh, uh, you know, it won't grow quite as fast and from an economic standpoint uh, is not quite as attractive when you let it grow longer. If you, what happens if you don't thin it when the stand is ready to be thinned? Well, it doesn't uh, increase in size the way it should. The diameter mm -hmm. uh, is restricted because uh, it's crowded. Uh, you know, they crowd, trees crowd out each other. So in a thinning process, you take out the inferior trees uh, that have been overgrown. You open it up so that the larger trees can expand and grow more. You know, it's amazing to see the uh, difference in a thin stand and a unthin stand when you cut those trees and look at the ring growth on a tree. It uh, mm -hmm. really makes a difference. And and you talked about site index. The uh, different soils have a different site index. So you can you can look at the soil type and and get a forecast as to how it will produce timber. Yes. Uh, if you look at your soil maps, which you can rate it according to the soil maps, and they We'll give you site indexes for different species okay. on your, you know, state soil maps. Great. Or USDA soil map. Thank you.